good morning welcome back to the channel so in this video we're going to look at why we've purchased a 150 watt solar panel uh, a portable panel the reasons why and how we've actually done that and how we've fitted that into our new caravan <music> Okay, so there's three reasons why we've opted for a portable solar panel rather than one fixed on the roof. The first reason is cost. We were looking in the region of about £400 to fit something onto the roof and then we would, we would still have to have the battery upgrade that we've done as well. Uh, we thought that was sort of £500 plus and obviously having it taken into a service centre to do uh, because of the warranty drilling holes in the roof and the like uh, we we decided that wasn't for us the second was that solar panels when fitted to caravans and motorhomes are flat unfortunately living where we do in the northeast sun rises in the east sets in the west as it always does everywhere can be very low in the sky so since we want to use it all year round we wanted to have a solar panel that we could tilt and therefore we could maximize the amount of power that we were getting into the panel and into the battery so we can stay away maybe for that a little bit longer so that's one thing we couldn't have if it was on the roof have a panel that tilted so the third reason and probably the most important was that this caravan is built in such a way that there is no obvious place where you will get from roof to floor and then around the caravan to the battery box uh, to, to actually wire a solar panel in so we've come up with a rather different solution a solution where we can either have the solar panel inside the caravan in the front window or outside the caravan uh, and just mount it and face it towards the sun at whatever angle we like and also where we can use the connections not only from the solar panel to charge the uh, battery but also to use the battery to power 12 volts items outside of the caravan um, and what I mean by that is we find it really difficult where we are and how we're situated to get the uh, the tire inflator powered from a 12 volt socket to the side of the caravan now we're okay on the off side because within the battery box is actually a 12 volt socket which we can just plug into and we're very close to the to the wheel on the near side it's very different we haven't got any 12 volt sockets on the outside of the caravan and it's very tight to get the car anywhere closer to actually use the sockets within the vehicle so what i'll do is i'll take you on a quick look outside show you how i've wired it up and show you the panel and you can decide for yourself whether this is a viable solution for yourselves it's certainly one that we thought was a little bit different to the normal way people wire up solar especially portable solar uh, and we we certainly have plenty of options with it so let's take a trip outside and we'll go and have a look okay so let's have a look at what we've got this is a 150 watt mono crystalline solar panel straight solar panel uh, bought off ebay and it comes with built-in charge controller and a couple of waterproof usbs there as well for use the cable itself and comes with a couple of crocodile clips so you can connect it straight onto the battery but i've done something a little bit different here uh, just so we can uh, use it for the tire inflator so let's have a look in the box and see what I've done right so as you can see the front locker has a cut out there and that's for using the plug socket 
Now I know this has been really kind. If you just look above, there's two holes cut there and there was one cut here. So I've used that to plug in, if I just take that out, a 10 amp cigarette lighter socket. And just to make sure everything's all right, we've used 1.5 cable. And just above there, if it'll show it, you can see I fit a circuit breaker fuse so that should this charge controller go wrong it's going to protect the caravan so if we have a very quick look in the caravan as we are at the moment quick step in quick press on the thing i've got to remember it's a really dull day let's see if this will focus in on that it's reading 13 volts at the moment and we'll pop back outside plug the panel in so that's fitted there and we'll just set the fuse and we'll take a quick look back and on an absolutely dull day we've gone up a massive 0.1 of a volt but as you can see there is 100% cloud cover so we have what we have you know uh, but I think on a on a sunny day that'll give us a certain level of charge at least I guess we're getting a little bit more than what's in the battery so it is going to charge somewhat even though there's nothing really you can do right so just to uh, sort of clarify what we've done with this I'll just flick the uh, the breaker that will uh, turn the panel off and we'll unplug that and this is what I meant by having dual use because this is my little tyre inflator which comes with a cigarette lighter socket so what I can do is plug that in and reset that breaker and we know that's 10 amp and as you can see off it goes so I now not only do I have the socket for the solar to plug into I've also got an additional 10 amp socket on the near side of the caravan so a little bit of a different idea for how to wire in a portable solar panel right so that's how i've installed our 150 watt monocrystalline solar panel it all comes in a nice little bag manufactured by a company called docio uh, don't know if they're good bad or indifferent time will tell uh, review seem okay on amazon but well, we'll have to wait and see. There seems to be plenty of videos out there from the States talking about these these panels as well. So uh, hopefully they'll be useful for us. Um, I'll put links in the description to all the kits that I bought uh, from the 10 amp cigarette lighter socket, the breaker and the cable. And that's really all there is. I've come straight off the battery terminals, run around with some heat resistant uh, 13 amp cabling into a 10 amp breaker and then out of there into the socket and that really is all there is uh, on top of that like i said it, the panel come with crocodile clips on the end to attach straight to the battery so i've cut those off and just put a standard cigarette lighter plug on the end which i got from the local caravan uh, stockies so that, that's it so that's the solar panel and what we've done uh, hopefully this video has been useful if it has please give a like please consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one thanks very much you take care